Hey there! In the last video, we turned the clips into frames. Now we have to delete all the frames where there is no enemy in view. To do this, start by opening your cheats folder. Go to Exported Frames and open the first photo in the Photos app on Windows. Now what this allows you to do is when you press the delete key, it deletes the photo. So for every frame, press the delete key until you reach a frame where an enemy is in view. Now you just press the right arrow key and continue pressing the delete key. I'm going to do this for the rest of my images. I recommend having 1000 images or more as this allows for the most accurate results with the YOLO V5 model. However, if annotating this amount of images is daunting, you can either skip this part and download my pre-trained model or skip to the auto annotate section where I will teach you how to use my pre-trained model to auto annotate gameplay. Before we use the annotation tool, we must make a TXT file and name it labels. In this file, put the labels you expect to be using. For me, it will be enemy and enemy underscore head. Save this file as labels and put it in your exported frames folder. In addition to the labels file, we need to make the proper YOLO folder structure. Let's start off by making a new folder. Name it dataset. In dataset, create two new folders. Name one images. And the other labels. In images, create two folders, one train and the other val. Repeat this for labels. Once this is done, drag all your images into the images train folder. And put your labels folder or your labels file into images, or yeah, into images. The best way to split our train folder images to our val folder images is to use this small little Python script I will have below the video. Just run the script, have your train folder path here and your val folder path. And basically it'll enumerate through each, um, each file in your train folder path and every five or so files, so I module five, it'll put the image in the val folder path. Now you can change this to whatever rate you want, but usually it's best to have 80% in your train folder and 20% in your val folder. To get started, open up your web browser. Search up Make Sense AI. Click on the first link. Click Get Started. And drop your train folder onto the browser. Click load labels from file and drag your labels file. Start project and then create label list and then start project. Now you can begin annotating. So you just draw a box over the body, draw a box over the head, label enemy, label enemy head. Repeat this process for all your images. It's highly unlikely you can finish all the annotations in one sitting. So to save your progress, go to Actions, go to Export Annotations, and export it as a YOLO format. Open the zip folder, and copy all of this progress into your labels train folder. Now let's say you wanted to close this tab, so we refresh the page. So it's the same process. 
gonna drag and drop your train images. Load labels from file. Start project, create label list, start project. And then to load your annotations, click import annotations. YOLO format. And just drag and drop your data set folder. Click import, and there you go. Your progress is back. Now after you're done annotating the train folder, repeat the same process for the val folder. So refresh the page. Go to get started. Drag and drop your val folder. Load labels from file. And it's the same thing. With all your finished annotations, put them all in labels in the train and val. After you're done with that, we can move on to training the model in the next video.